And I have learned something that surprised me a lot. I learned that singers are athletes. Did you know that? Yes. Well, they are, because they have to do amazing things with their bodies. They have to fill their lungs with so much air that they can fill an entire room without a microphone with sound. And they have to be able to hold it a long time. And while they're singing, they have to be able to move around and act on the stage. And that singing isn't necessarily easy. I'm going to ask, ask you to sing some notes with me and see if you can do it. Sing. Sing. La, la, la. Come on, sing it. Okay, now we're going to go up an octave. I can't do that. Come on, sing it. Okay, now we're going to go down. practice and get those notes. Now I want you to listen when this, is, this opera is being sung today and listen for that top note and the bottom note. You're going to hear both of those notes and think how hard it is to get there. And one of the things I want you to watch, because this show is a lot about paying attention and learning things from paying attention. Watch how they have to breathe in order to get those notes out. Even while they're moving on stage, standing around, moving, fighting, all sorts of things they do, they still have to fill the room with sound. How many of you, this is your first opera ever? Most of you. Well, when you watch this and you think about how athletic those people are, think of all the training they've had to do, how much good exercise it is, while you're enjoying the story, I think you'll get a sense of how magical opera is. It's hard work and it's fun all at the same time. And I hope you have fun here. We welcome you to UC Merced and we welcome you to your first opera. All right, thank you. of today's opera, and I would also like to welcome you to UC Merced. Let's see, is Alicia Reyes in the house? Yeah. Yes! Hello, welcome, and is Gracie here? Yeah. And Bellevue? Is Bellevue here? Hi, Bellevue, welcome! And ECEC, -E our youngest Bobcat. We call you the kittens, right? Bobcat kittens. And Montessori, Alexander Montessori School? Are you here? Hi, welcome, welcome all of you. Um, like I said, my name is Jenny Samuelson, and I am a lecturer here at UC Merced. Can you say lecturer? Lecturer. Lecturer, which is just a fancy word for I get to be a teacher here. I teach college students here at UC Merced, and specifically, I teach students here about music and about theater. Now, could you all say with me, 400 years ago? 400 years ago. So the world of music and the world of theater came together to create an altogether new art form, and that art form is called opera. Can you say opera? Opera. opera. And that's what we're here to do today. Opera is very special in that a lot of the storytelling, not all of it, but a lot of it is told through singing. And let's think, 400 years ago, were there microphones 400 years ago? No. Were there projection screens 400 years ago? No. no, and you will notice that today. You will notice that our opera singers do not have any microphones. There are no speakers out in the house. There's no projection screen up here. They are going to tell you a story, a wonderful story, simply using the power of their own voices accompanied by a live piano. And I think that's really important and really special. That's also a really big job for them, to tell you all, all 370 of you, a story using the power of their voices. And it's also a big job for you 
In order for everyone to hear the story as audience members, we have to listen a little more carefully. We have to sit very quietly. But that doesn't mean you always have to be quiet. If you want to let the performers know that you enjoy what they're doing, what's something you can do for them? You can applaud. That's right. Good. And if you think something funny, by all means laugh. The performers love to hear your laughter, and this opera is really funny. Uh, there's something else you can do, though, that comes from the operatic tradition. And that is a very special word that you can yell if you really, really like something. If you really want the performers to know that you appreciate what they're doing, you can, you can yell out the special word, bravo. Can you say bravo? Bravo! Oh, wow, you heard some rolling tons. Bravo! Excellent. OK, we also would like for you to use your voices today along with us from time to time. This is a mystery. There are clues that need to be solved. And when we need your help is when we need to reverse the curse. And you'll understand that more later. But let me teach you the chant that goes with reverse the curse. Listen. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Before things get worse, reverse the curse. Can you try that with me? Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Before things get worse. Reverse the curse. Excellent. And we're also going to ask, we would love for you to sing with us today. So I'm going to teach you a song. In about a minute and a half, we're going to learn a song. Can we do that? Yeah. Yes, we can. All right, here we go. I, first, let's learn the lyrics, the, the words to the song. If we just look around. If we just look around. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. If we just take a look. If we just take a look. To our left and right. To our left and right. Excellent. Now we're going to put two and two together there. Listen. If we just look around, we'll see what's going on. If we just look around, we'll see what's going on. If we just take a look to our left and right. If we just take a look to our left.
once upon a time, long ago, in the happy kingdom of Finlandia, the king and queen longed for a child. So when at last Princess Arya was born, all of Singlandia rejoiced the way that Singlandia most loved to rejoice by singing. But then suddenly, and horribly, a darkness arose in the neighboring kingdom, the land of the boot cruncher. Queen Leatherboots, ruler of this silent place, rolling of gravel and thorns, flew over to happy Singlandia and put a curse on Princess Arya. Why? Well, mostly because she was a colossally horrible person. Everlasting sleep, kingdom silent. The silencio curse is complete. Some restrictions may apply. This curse is bound by the official laws of all fairy tale worlds and is therefore subject to an obligatory opt out clause. For the exercise of said opt out clause, I am required by Cross Kingdom Law 42.7b subsection f to hide a box of clues within the castle. Said box of clues, if found, <laughs> not likely. And solved, <laughs> even more unlikely, <laughs> would reverse the curse, making it null and void, and making me null and void. It would be such a pity if I died, for I'm so deliciously and gigantically bad. <laughs> Hidden in plain sight. Fools them every time. <laughs> away in his castle, but it is now the eve of her birthday, the night that the curse is to take effect, thanks to Queen Leatherboots of the Boot Crunchers. If this horrible curse is not reversed by the time that clock gongs midnight, all of Singlandia will fall silent and Princess Arya will fall into an everlasting sleep. But in the event that the curse is somehow reversed, it is Queen Leatherboots who will fall into this everlasting sleep. <laughs> oh, audience friends, let's hope someone can reverse this curse. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Before things get worse, reverse this curse. Aww. <laughs> I 
help us, but no one ever comes here to the castle of my uncle, the mysterious Count Pizzicato. Allow me to present Prince Poco Pops. <laughs> Prince Poco Pops. And my lady, allow me to further present Prince Forte. Prepared. Princess Arya, I bring greetings from my neighboring kingdom of Smarty Pants, where the four seasons come and go, the winds and the snows, the rains and the bows. But we don't bother much with that. We spend most of our time invento apparecho. Huh? In other words, inventing things. Oh! <laughs> I myself, along with some Smarty friends, made this crystal screen by melting and then flattening a crystal ball. It's mesmerizing. I know the year's only $12.99, but I have a feeling this particular invention will become very popular later. <laughs> Greetings, Prince Poker Pants. And I am Prince Forte from the West. Oh, where exactly? Over that way, that's all you need to know. That and how incredibly handsome I am. <gasps> okay, well then, greetings, Prince Forte. But if you don't mind my asking, why are you two here? Oh, an invitation came today by scroll. If I remember the exact words, and I usually do, it said, you are hereby and immediately invited to a reverse the curse party on the occasion of Princess Arya's 18th birthday eve. Arrive as soon as you can to the castle of Count Pizzicato. Sounded intriguing. I got the same scroll. Me too, which is very strange considering I live here. So you mean the invitation didn't come from you? No, and I can't imagine who sent it. I've lived here all alone since my parents were lost at sea when I was just a tiny baby. Oh, it's most unfortunate. My condolences. Thank you, but I've always had Mr. Buttle and Nanny Goody taking care of me, and they're wonderful. And of course, there's Inky. He's my best friend. I sing to him all the time. La 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 la. But where is Count Pizzicato? him, except in the shadows. He 
he's busy ruling the kingdom of Singlandia as my trustee until I turn 18 tomorrow. Well, technically tonight at midnight. Unless, of course, I fall into an everlasting sleep, which I have to say is looking pretty likely. <sighs> So the Silencio curse is a real thing? Yes, unfortunately. Mr. Bottle Nanny Goody and I have searched this castle from the highest torts to the deepest dungeons for years, but we've never been able to find the box of clues that Queen Leatherboots hid when she placed the curse on me. Finding the box and solving the clues is the only way to make things right. Maybe you two could help us look around? It's so important to look around. Everybody ready to see? water reclamation, and strategic defense. <laughs> Besides, I love life, don't you? Yes. It's so much fun for so many reasons. Most of all, singing. <laughs> <laughs> Clue. 
Beginning. Four upon goats, sails upon boats. 
received notes inviting us to the party. It must have to do with those. Oh! oh. <laughs> Poco Pants being such a smarty pants. Oh, but the clock is ticking down. Do you see that, silly little bad pet? And we are still a long way from solving this mystery. They think I'm here to help, but you know better, don't you? I can see it in your little red beady eyes. You know the truth. I'm really on a, here on a mission from my homeland to see that the curse is not reversed. Yes, that's right, Bat Pet. You got it. I am a boot crunch thorn, there's no denial. I treat with only scorn that ticky ticky dial. I'll beat them fair and square without a single care. They'll fall into my snare, that's just my style. Boot crunch. I will not make a slip, their chances here are zip. We're not a helpful but boot crunch, a boot crunch. My goal is that the curse won't be reversed. We're just a nasty bunch, boot crunch. to a reverse the curse party on the occasion of Princess Arya's 18th birthday eve. Arrive as soon as you can to the castle of Count Pizzicato. Exactly as I remembered. Now, so what? I'm finding this rather tiring. And now time? Maybe we need to look around. Look, but do you like it this way? Princess, I think you're right. Yeah, okay. Okay, so D goes here. Yeah, yeah, and here's the next one. Here you go. Okay, F goes here. So B flat goes here. Yeah. Okay, well, now what? Well, beats me. Well, what about these boots? Do you like my boots? You are making progress, my lady. Allow me a little hip, hip parade. Yes, we are making progress, but the clock keeps ticking. And we need to reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Before things get worse, reverse the curse. Well, might my lady have another look in the box? Oh, that's a great idea. There's one more clue in here. Ooh. Bravo for you, hoorah, 
and yea. The pieces are in place and they must stay. <gasps> the pieces are in place and they must stay. Mm -hmm. I've got it. No one touch this musical staff. Go on. You've now solved all the clues but one. Puzzle it out and the game is done. This is as easy as one, two, three. It's in front of you, the perfect key. The perfect key? Does that make sense to anyone?
I was here the whole time. Nothing happened. Hey, did you take B flat? Of course not. That has to stay in place to stop a curse. <gasps> Who, Who stole, stole B flat? <laughs>
could this have turned out any better? No, of course not. For I, Prince Forte, am not only incredibly good looking, I have also stolen B flat and kept the curse from being reversed. At the stroke of midnight, the princess will slip into everlasting sleep, and Queen Leatherboots will go on ruling the land of boot crunchers, and all the kingdom of Singlandia will fall forever silent. No more la 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 singing ever. And I, Prince Forte, will return to the land of boot crunchers, where no one will actually say good job or anything nice for that matter. However, a boot crunchers must complete their mission, or by decree of the queen, they will be stomped out. I must take Princess Arya's tiara for proof before these two wake up. Then for me, it's back to the cold and the gray and the sound of boots crunching on gravel forevermore. Gosh, singing sure was fun. Gosh, she's pretty. And she would have been an awesome ruler of an awesome kingdom. I must go. When Queen Leatherboots finds out what I've done, I will surely be stomped out. Oh, but quick, we must solve the last clue and save Princess Arya. We? Yes, whatever the cost, I intend to stay and do the right thing. We still need the key. Princess Arya tried the key on every door in the castle. Nothing. Maybe it's a musical key. Maybe we need to sing in this key, the key of B-flat. Why would you think that? This is Singlandia. We need to take that into account. Queen Leatherboots hates Singlandians because of their singing. Uh, hurry, let's sing this chord now. Hum, hum. Which I would have known if I wasn't so distracted by my crystal screen. But then he, he brought it back and he, he solved the final clue. <laughs> oh, the, the doorbell. I must find the Mr. Bottle. Oh, wait, help Pinty Cockle. Mr. 
Mr. Bottle and Nanny Goody. You have? Yes, and I know why too. You love me and you wanted to protect me. Yes, this is true. But if you'll excuse me, my lady, I must answer the doorbell. <laughs> No need to figure that out. That doorbell most likely means I'm about to be stomped out. <gasps> when we are reversed as the curse, Queen Lezaboot melts is away. I'm told that this and this is all that's left of her. And furthermore, all of the boot country land is a rejoicing by a singing. Oh. Can this be? Oh, see what happened when you decided to do the right thing? Yeah. I finally learned my lesson. Don't be distracted. Yes, uh, crystal screens are nice and all, but there's a more to life to a see and experience. It's important to look around. UC 
Beamer said, perhaps someday some of you might be Bobcats, be students here at UC Merced. That would be fantastic. Now, Carla played both Prince Polka Pants, and what else did she play? Does anyone? She was Queen Lover. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And I would like to also just point out a couple other important people that are in the room right now and thank them. This is our last school performance. The production team, Dr. Catherine Brokaw, <laughs> and Stacy, and Nathan, and Heather, all those from Merced, Office of, uh, Merced County Office of Education. Thank you so much for everything you did. And one more very special person. We could not do this without the support of both the Merced County Office of Education, UC Merced, and the Betty Scalise Foundation. Rachel Nedepin, thank you so much for your support. Katie Brokaw's mother, Nancy Still Brokaw, who wrote this opera, is busy writing another opera right now. We will be back next May, the same week. We'd love to have your schools back again. Uh, please look for it. The new opera is called Whoosh, World of, no, yes, World uh, of Opera Superheroes. Super so we hope you'll come back next year. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next year. Bye.